Well, we are one hour and 35 minutes into the 23rd day of February, uh, 2021. That is a Tuesday. And the week starts rolling along. Uh, it's better than having the week start rolling along on Wednesday. That is a definite improvement. But again, what's happening is the week starts rolling along. <laughs> um... How do I explain? How do I explain this? There is the mundane and there's the routine. These are the things that go on between excitement and various different issues and events that go on that create a, a bit a, a bit of turbulence. Turbulence can be positive and turbulence can be negative. In either case, there is a sense of well, it's it, it basically the work of adrenaline because you have to push and persevere through a particular task or event and the mind doesn't necessarily stop to think about it. As after the event, when you're now tasked with moving on, getting back on the road and sort of well, taking the thing step by step, sort of the, doing the mundane, the, doing, doing the sort of the necessary footwork to get to the next event or next uh, 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 oh yeah, event or place or you know different because you can view this as a place marker on the road. Each event is a place marker on the road. It's either a success or a failure. Uh, I mean, even when you have a failure, sometimes if you if you can work it well enough, uh, it becomes a degree of a success. So much so that uh, the successes do add up to something more significant than simply, oh, it's a success. It's more than just simply, you know, rationalizing a failure. Uh, it's, more, it's more along the lines of learning from a failure. And as that knowledge becomes incrementally greater, it's something you didn't necessarily have before. This is, you didn't have before. This is, this is a, this is how exploration's done. You're pushing the boundaries. They're pushing the areas you didn't know before. And so sometimes it does take the mundane. And in many cases, understanding failure is not necessarily failure because when you're going into an area that you don't know, you're going into these new areas, you don't know the stuff. You have to learn as you're going along. And this is the hard part along the path is that... Is that you do have to uh, increase your knowledge. You do have to uh, 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 do the mundane. Uh, do the daily routine. You know, right now my daily routine is primarily here at the research desk in the, in the media room. Uh, in the summer it's going to be primarily uh, at the, in the uh, music studio because it's going to be cooler there. So, uh, there is going to be that trade-off. And this is what you're seeing. You're seeing the reality of uh, what's occurring. And the thing is, a lot of people don't understand that. This, this, a large chunk of where the problem is today is they don't see what's going on behind the scenes. They, 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 they're, they're limited by their experience in terms of how they see what they see, how they perceive what they perceive. It's not until you step outside yourself, and this is where Gnosis comes in, and various different forms of meditation, it's not until you stand outside yourself that, that you begin to see that there is more out there than just you, more than your own perspective, and that's when you start moving ahead and say, oh, wait a minute, now I understand. And it is a, you only understand to a certain degree. There is always a lot more out there to connect to your understanding that will enhance your understanding as time goes on, and this time is not it's not a simple one, uh, you know, a couple weeks project or something like that. This could take years. Anyways, uh, I'm shifting my spot, my space right now. I'm gonna go into the next realm because I do have meditation early in the morning. There is a meditation short. The early Christian church has a lot of feasts. <laughs> Uh, almost people can't understand. You go, know, you go to church. When, uh, you go to church Sundays, right? Well, go to church Saturdays. We go to church Sundays. 
Uh, sta standard routine is we go Wednesdays and Fridays. And then you also have the feasts. So tomorrow, uh, we went to church. There was church tonight. There was uh, a meditation service tonight. Uh, there's one tomorrow morning. And this is how it goes. This is how it, it is on a regular basis. You have the routine and mundane. And then you have your feasts. And that's what's happening tomorrow. While it is the fi is fifteen minutes, just fifteen minutes into the day of uh, Wednesday, February. 24th, uh, 2021. I almost said the 14th, but no, it's, it's the last week of February. I don't think I vlogged yesterday on the 23rd. I can't remember whether I did or not. Uh, I got a very late start to the day. Uh, I did a... What happened is I ended up doing a, a lot of meditation on on on, uh, on Tuesday. And so I ended up getting a late start to the day. And I'm just now sort of sitting down and going through the list of things uh, that need to be done that sort of were on the uh, on my mind. I added in uh, to my media room. I added in Amazon Prime. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> I think Amazon is more hyped up than it, it really is. I mean, they, they, I could sort of see a lot of problems with Amazon. It is not what it what it is not it is not what it is advertised to be. While you will find deals on Amazon, in many cases you'll find things that are actually more expensive, and needlessly needlessly so that they're more expensive uh, than other services that are comparable. So one of those say, well, you know, Amazon is going to compete heavily with uh, Netflix or Disney Plus. Well. Not really, because once you get Amazon, right? You pay your subscription fee for Amazon. You are hit with, okay. Well, what what do you want to subscribe subscribe to next? In other words, every channel, or like, like Nick Plus or whatever, they're all separate. They're not the same service, and so you have to do subscription for this and subscription to that, and and it's it, it, it's it's in many ways ridiculous because. You pay to get access to Amazon Prime, Amazon Video, and yet there's nothing really there uh, <laughs> that, that you would really want to watch. It's kind of everything is behind a subscription wall, a sort of say a, a second subscription wall because you pay for the Amazon Prime subscription, but at the same time, you still have to pay another subscription fee. For whatever channel you want, and there's a lot of shows out there you want you want want to watch a show that are behind a subscription wall. So it's not a, f a free pick and choose what you want in terms of uh, of watching individual shows. Uh, you know, once you pay your subscription, you get a whole uh, variety of shows. It's it's very very minimal. It's it's it's. It's if I weren't using my if I weren't using my my parents uh, the uh, 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 account and they got the BritBox on there so I, I do do like watching BritBox every now and again but there's really not much on Amazon that I would say okay I'm gonna get Amazon Prime for I'm not gonna you know to spend that extra money and because there's nothing really there Netflix is okay it's it's better than Amazon Prime but still not what uh, again, I would pay individually for. I mean, a family package, yeah, the family package is worth it. But the individual package, would, just for myself, wouldn't be worth it. I have other, uh, 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 other uh, means and other uh, mechanisms of getting the shows that I want to get. Uh, so I have another way, other ways of of dealing with the content issue uh, back in the media room here. And so this is this is the way things go. Is, is, is you do have positives, you have negatives, and 
people you ask the question, well, why don't other people do the same thing? Why don't they sort of, you know, uh, move forward? And a lot of times people, they're not willing to put up with the small inconveniences to, to try things out to see if they work or they don't work. Uh, or to work around various different issues if there is an issue. They want things to work immediately. They turn it on, they want it to work, and that's it. Uh, those who are willing to sort of fiddle around with things to to do more exploration, and this is how I got my t-shirts, my, my sweatshirts were so cheap. I think I paid uh, $11 for them. $11 for a sweatshirt. And it's got nice pockets. These are these are uh, triple extra large. I will we'll, we'll be ordering more of these. And again, it's again shopping around, finding the best deals, and testing things out to see if they work or they don't work. But if you're not willing to do that, if you're not willing to take the time to sort of step into these things, and what's happening is that for a lot of people, that this whole lockdown issue is, is, is really getting them. They're, they're, they're becoming extremely impatient. They want to go out somewhere. They want to go, go do something. But myself, my preference is to sort of sit of sitting on the couch and watching TV. That's what I like to do. I like my vlog. I like the cartoons. I don't have a need to go out and uh, go out to a bar or anything like that uh, to sort of talk to other people. I'm fine here. But again, that's my personality. That's what I like. And um, other people aren't me, and so they're going to have their own particular issues. And when it comes to sort of pushing the edge and things that annoy them, even because a lot of times it's small stuff, they're not going to necessarily achieve what they want because they're not willing to put up with the more extensive things that will cause you to not achieve whatever goal you were thinking of. With achieving goals, you have the big hurrahs, the events, the very, the very big points on the line, on the road, whatever path you're on. But as in, in between, you have this sort of mundane path that you have to walk to go from point to point. And if you're not willing to walk the path going from point to point, dealing with the more difficult things, dealing with the struggles that come along, then you're not going to succeed at whatever you intend to do. And then you'll be sitting back and going, well, why did the other person get that? You know, And, and you resent it because you think, ah, I could have done that, but if you didn't put the uh, uh, the sort of the mundane steps in there, if you, this is something you sort of tossed off, and then the only one who didn't do the work, who didn't put in the effort, who didn't do the struggle, is you. But I think more often than not, the people like that will never blame themselves. They always blame other people for this. And this is what you see. And people, the whole issue with illegal aliens is that they think the, the, the illegal aliens are getting something that they should have had. Well, this is, you know, I could have done that. You could have given me that money instead of, you know. And so it's, it's about the illegal, illegal immigration issue is primarily about what the person who is opposed to the illegal alien, illegal, uh, illegal aliens, illegal immigration, is primarily people who say, oh, that one could have been me. I, I could have had that money. You know, they don't see from the perspective of the uh, of the immigrant coming in. Even the ones who, who, who purport to help these immigrants don't necessarily see or understand the Im immigrant. They, a large share of the time is virtual saying, oh, look how, how great I am. I'm helping these people out. And the thing is, once the cameras are gone, they're gone, and, and, and a large chunk of the people who were legal aliens who came in, who were supposedly all your, 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 your wonderful friends, well, you've kind of left them on the streets. You've left them without houses. Uh, there's a backlog in the government in order to get citizenship. Uh, there's a number of different things that sort of cause an issue uh, that leaves uh, those who were depending on you for your help without any form of help. Anyways, this is life and this is the way things go. And I will see you uh, later on as the day continue, my day continues on. There's the bus. Well, it is just 
this about two o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. I have the hiccups. <laughs> um, yeah, it's one hour and fifty-seven minutes into the twenty-fourth day of Fe the twenty-fourth day of February, uh, two thousand twenty-one. It is officially Wednesday, and this brings me to the end of my week. My week typically ends on Wednesday. Wednesday are my down days. Sure, my down day. This is one day, uh, and then things t tend to pick up again on Thursday. Although the down day is not necessarily much of a down day because uh, I do end up uh, getting a lot done. So we'll end up seeing what ends up happening uh, uh, in a couple of hours. I was going to say tomorrow, but it's not going to be tomorrow. It's going to be in a couple of hours. I do have some gaming to do. I've moved up again in the gaming. Uh, I'm back watching uh, my YouTube stroll. I've added to the YouTube, the YouTube stroll. So I've got more content to watch. Uh, so I haven't finished it all. Uh, I'll have some more when I get up again. Uh, right now I'm going to do a little bit uh, of perusing on uh, Instagram. I'll leave TikTok till tomorrow. And then uh, sort of figure out where I'm going to end up going from there. In terms of... Uh, the various different projects that I have that I can sort of pick up and do on Wednesday, but I don't want to do too much because I want to keep Wednesday as a sort of a, a relaxed day, a day where I don't do much of anything, sort of. But, but we'll see. We'll, we'll, cause I, I, I do things as I sit here. You know, I watch whatever I'm watching, but I also do things at the same time, so we'll see what happens. Well, with uh, 24, well, with 10 minutes left of the 24th day of uh, February, it is 23 hours and 50 minutes into the day of uh, Wednesday, February 24th, 2021. And as usual, the day was filled with uh, the usual stuff. My usual routine now is there is a lot of church, a lot of prayers, a lot of meditation in there uh, at least four hours if not more uh, then there was a bit of a fasting meditation today and so I didn't get back until like 9 30 10 o'clock because uh, I had to go to uh, the church I, I have my dad's church and I had to do some repairs on the sound system so I did that and didn't get back here until 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Made myself something to eat. I've got a great new uh, 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 a short order system uh, for my Kauai Tea House. A short order menu, I should say not a system, but a, a short order menu, are, are food items that you can make very quickly. It's like almost like fast food. It will take you maybe 10 minutes to make the whole thing. And so that's what I did. I, I had something very short today, but it, again, it was good. Uh, it was a twist on a ham and cheese sandwich. Uh, it was basically a sub uh, on Italian bread. And it's mayo on both sides. Uh, the first layer is cucumbers. Second layer is, an, is a hard-boiled egg. Uh, third layer is... Uh, uh, sliced ham. Then the I think the the, the, the uh, first is cucumber, egg, ham, and then fourth layer is cheese, and topped by uh, a, a lightly mayoed uh, bun on either side, and it came out very very good. I am very happy with it. And because the egg came from a new device that I got that I showed in the um, the vlogs about a couple of days ago, about a day, a day or two ago, I got this new uh, mini egg thing that does very quick eggs, and it worked very quickly. Twenty minute, uh, twenty minutes to do hard boiled eggs. Uh, very happy with it. Very ha pleased how it worked. I was surprised how it worked. Uh, and you don't have to do eggs in, you don't have to do eggs in very large batches. Uh, basically, uh, put, I'd put my I'd put the uh, uh, in, in a pot of boiling water. I put a whole dozen egg, a whole 
whole carton of eggs in there. And I do them all. I do them all at once. Didn't have to do that. This was basically you put a little bit of water in the pan. You put a uh, plastic ring on top of it. I guess this is a high temperature plastic ring so it doesn't uh, melt. You put your eggs on it. It holds the eggs in place standing up. You put the dome on. You plug it in to turn it on. 20 minutes later, it's done. When the old, when I, the old way I used to do it, which was pretty easy and pretty cheap, uh, I'd forget that I had the water on. I'd forget that I had it boiling. And so it'd take me more than an hour to do the egg, but because I wouldn't know exactly how long the eggs were in the water to, to, to begin with. So this was a lot easier, a lot, lot uh, uh, more convenient to do, and so it adds to the, uh, the short order menu. And that's sort of how the day has gone, and it's a, now it's, a, it's, a, it's about f uh, four minutes left in the day. I have some gaming to do. And I'm going to go do that now uh, before I finish watching um, uh, my before I finish on my YouTube stroll. Uh, my mind is off today. 